What's going on everybody? I am very excited to bring this to you. It seems that nobody has done this. This is a full 100% divide guide with every Warhead, Ulysses Log, Ralphie poster, all the unique gear, and all the good stuff, all in one condensed video. That being said, we're gonna jump right in. This is on my NCR account. Uh, if you wanna see that video, it's on my channel, and we're gonna move super quick, no hand holding. So the first thing, you need to do is just get this Ralphie poster right where you get EDE. I'm just going to say right now, the order I get them in won't be the order you get them in. Just keep that in mind, but I do show all 20. Activate the bunker, and then you will come across the first of five EDE upgrades. And he can now repair your weapons once a day, every 13 hours, at no cost. All right. And in here, if you want to pick this, there is a nail gun, your first nail gun, which you could get them to repair for some money. All right, just watch out for these two Securitrons. That's really all there is. And then you do not want to miss one of my absolute favorites in the whole game, the General's uniform. And don't forget the codes in the desk. I seem to do that every time. Yeah. The General. All right, and then you just come over here, get EDE to activate this thing, be prepared. There's going to be a good fight with some robots. And then once you take all these guys out, just take an immediate left. And there is another room with a bunch of goodies and some US military combat armor. All right, and then moving on, that's all that's in the bunker. Now we're getting to the town, all right? The entrance first part now the first thing you want to do is come over to the left and get this Ralphie poster at the gas station and then come to the missile base HQ you want to come in here a couple guys nothing too hard and you will find a safe just in the background right there where you will find codes for the armory so you do not have to pick the very hard level terminal as well as the second of five EDE upgrades and now he can make you energy ammo once a day. All right. And then from the outside of the building, just come around back and you'll get the other Ralphie poster. And then just in front of it, this is the armory that we got the codes from. Tons of stuff in here, but two sets of riot gear. One in that locker, one in this locker, if you can pick it. Yes, sir. You could probably even manage to pull this off at a very low level if you want to start the game by doing this. Alright, and then the marked men camp. This is the first place you can really come. Like to team up on the guys with ED there. Alright, watch out for this guy with the red glare. He'll get you. And then once you kill everybody, there's two red glares up here, guys. And I'm going to recommend that you never repair them together because there's only a certain amount in the whole DLC of the shoulder mounted machine guns and the red glares. Just get EDE to repair them. And this is where we get the laser detonator. And after you grab that, you're going to be ambushed. Just be careful. Have a bit of fun with your new toy. All right. And then from here, you're just going to want to take an immediate left. And then just come grab this bad boy. And then we're going to get to our first warhead. One of 30, guys. One of 30. Alright. Now you just come through here. And then the next building we're going to find really is the men's barracks. There's not too much in here. Some guys, some loot, some U.S. military combat armor. And a store for EDE to unlock for you. You want to sell all your goods here. All right, and then I just wanted to show you guys that in the all the stores that EDE can activate, you can get the upgrades for the red glare and the shoulder-mounted machine gun, and now mine is fully upgraded. Okay, now, there's just this little outpost here, take out those guys, and then we got two EDE posters, or Ralphie posters, I guess I should say. All right, and then we're moving on to our second warhead, and this is where we find our first boss. Blister, where he has one of the four unique tribal helmets. This is, I believe, just the basic marked man helmet. 
sorry, marked beast helmet. And then we have our third warhead, but we're not going to go that way just yet. All right, you're going to fast travel back to the beginning here, where we have another warhead in front of the woman's barracks. All right, and then you're just going to want to come in here. Once you come in here, you will be ambushed. These guys come in after you. Slaughter them all. Slaughter them all. Show off the goods. And we got another poster. Alright. Now, from the front of that building, you're just going to want to come over here to the loading station. And this is where we find the first of six Ulysses logs. Alright, and then we just come back to the corner here to another marked men little outpost. Where we grab our fifth warhead and just down the back alley from right here, swing a right. Another Ralphie poster and the second of six Ulysses logs. Okay guys, and that about uh, sums it up for that first part. And I'm going to recommend that you come to the entrance of the DLC and this one duffel bag unload all your stuff that you get from this DLC guys. Unload it all, because you will have 900 pounds by the time it's done, believe me. Alright, now we're just entering the first cave where we blew up that warhead. And this is a very, very dangerous area, guys. Be very careful here. Take an immediate left. We've got another Ralphie poster. These guys, these tunnelers, are no joke, so be very careful. Come prepared. All right, now we just exit and we find the second of four bosses. This is Beast, and he has the marked Beast face mask and our first shoulder mounted machine gun. And I already got the upgrades for that, as well as there's another one in the ammo box just by the truck in front of us. Yes, sir. And another store for EDE. See, right there, another one. Boom. Get him to activate that. Alright, and moving on to the crow's nest, we have our another warhead, this is one of the fattest stashes in the game, well in the DLC I guess I should say, just going to want to rush up here, and we have another Ralphie poster, Ulysses log, ammo, magazines, and our advanced riot gear. Elite right gear is my favorite gear in the whole game. Okay. And don't forget these magazines, guys. Easy to miss. Okay, moving on. There is a fat, fat stash in this trailer, but when you come in here, you activate a death claw encounter, so just be careful. Very careful. Alright, we got another warhead. Lots of death claws on this little one stretch of road. Okay guys, now right by this motorcycle in the middle here, there's one of two bags, the roll it up sleeping bag, where you can sleep outdoors anywhere. So for you survivalists, that's for you guys. And then there's another good little stash in this little semi-trailer here, don't miss these books. And all the other goodies. And then K, okay, just towards the end of this road, there is a little hollowed out cave with another Ulysses log, number four I believe. And this is where we get our other warheads. And that's number eight. And then we come down here. We got another Ralphie poster. Watch out for the death claws and tunnelers. And then just in the top of this building, you cannot miss the snow globe. Well, I should say you don't want to miss. Easily missed. Okay, and then I just wanted to point out, on your way to continuing with the story, to be careful of this back lane. It gets me every time, and I'm always prepared, and it still knocks me on my ass. Ten years later. Okay, guys, now we're just at the control station, and we are grabbing the third of the four marked beast masks. Bone saw. Alright, take out his goons. Take his stuff. And then just in the brick building behind us is another sleeping bag. Yeah, I think this is my favorite of the of the four. 
And then you do not want to miss another Ralphie poster, of course, right? All right, man. And then just from in front of this building, you turn to your right, and we got another warhead. And I just wanted to point out to you guys, oftentimes where you blow up warheads, to keep an eye out for these stashes, because these are the best ones in the whole DLC. With the most stuff, too. So, definitely, definitely keep an eye out for that. Okay, moving on, guys. Moving on. Right here, there's one of four industrial hands, which is the best power fist in the game for critical damage. Do not want to miss that. And the only power fist you can hold down the ability. All right. Next, we are launching our first nuke. that that's gone off it has opened a passage to what is called the courier's mile which we will be covering now courier's mile okay now you just want to come back to the entrance and there is two warheads and a ralphie poster be careful guys this is probably the most dangerous area in the whole game probably number one certainly top three where the marked men and the death claws are apparently all best friends and get along great because they're walking beside each other so be extra careful ralphie poster and then from the entrance of the dlc i'm just going to dart to show you the warheads before they all try and kill me <laughs> Also, do not want to come here without any Radix, guys. And then they all swarmed me. There is nothing like Little Devil, guys. The pistol, Little Devil. Sold by Mick and Ralph. Finish them. Whew! And do not forget this knife in the lamppost by the entrance. It's unique. Okay, guys. Now we're going back down into the silo. Alright, now you take this elevator all the way down. I recommend you hide in a corner and use vats. That is your best bet in this place. Believe me. And then once you come down, we're just going to make our way out. Walking very slowly for wow factor okay guys now you get into this bunker that's exploded and there's another EDE upgrade you do not want to miss alright grab that and then I just wanted to show in this locked room there is some more US combat armor and another fat stash. Tons of stuff. More riot gear. So much riot gear in this DLC. Good put or set on every follower. Okay, and now continuing on. Be careful. Be careful. These guys get you. Even at level 50. Alright. Now we got another Ralphie. Boom. Okay, guys, now we made our way out, and we are just continuing on. Grab these warheads. Thirteen, okay, now we're making our way down. We're going to find another Ulysses log. Grab that bad boy. Okay, guys, and now once we're at the bottom here, there's nothing until we blow up this middle part. Ah, what a sight to behold. Background's moving and fall out. No wonder we can't move. Okay, and then you just want to rush up here so you can get the advantage on these guys quick because they got some good weapons. Okay. 
Yeah. Nothing like the red glare. And then just come to this little sewer right here. Another EDE upgrade and then make your way out through the opposite end. Where we find my favorite suit of armor in the entire game. Elite Riot gear, everybody. Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. And do not forget the Ralphie poster just behind. Easily missed. Okay, guys. Now, from that building we just were, you just want to come over here to where we shot those rockets at those guys. We will find another Ralphie poster. And then just to the building to the right of that building is the final Ulysses log. All right. And then from here, just got two more warheads. And the last EDE upgrade. Get that guy there, and then there's one more behind us. All right. And that is the final EDE upgrade, guys. Boom. Rank 5. Okay, now from where we blew up that warhead, we're just going to make our way through the tunnels. Very dangerous, guys. Very dangerous. Cannot stress that enough. Be careful. And then you want to make sure that before you go through this door, guys, all the stuff you have EDE carrying for you, you drop off or sell because he gets stolen at this rooftop. Now you come through here, EDE gets taken, then you make your way down, and there is Death Claws. Be very careful. Alright, these guys will sneak up on you, man. They run across from that corner. Now, I recommend that you just dart over this way so that you can kind of get their walking patterns to glitch out a little bit while you unleash mayhem. The anxiety. Reload. Reload. Reload! All right, now, as soon as you do that, guys, you want to save your game, come this way. We got more warheads, and this is a Deathclaw boss. Extremely hard. I'm level 50, and I died a few times facing this guy, so be careful. And once you walk in, the roof collapses behind you, so you can't get out until he's dead and you blow up another warhead, all right? So you just got to be real careful, guys. And then you take his claw, and you can make a unique weapon. Nothing left. Alright. Blow that up. Don't forget to grab this claw. And then we are moving on. Okay, guys. And now there's just this warhead. It's in your way. Blow that up. Alright. And then we got a bunch more warheads just through here. Try to have better accuracy than me. Alright, one there. One here. One hiding. Alright. One up here, which you can only see from this one spot, oddly enough. Okay, and then you just run up this way. There's another industrial fist in one of these boxes, I believe. And then come over here, another warhead. Opens up another shortcut, if you didn't already know. Lots of warheads, open shortcuts. And that's actually the final warhead until we get into the temple. And then just come down here, where we got some more tunnelers and marked men that are apparently friends. It's everyone against the courier in this DLC. 
and we find another Ralphie poster. Okay, guys, and now from here, you just want to come to this treatment plant. Another poster, and this was when the final of the Marked Men and his gang caught up with me. They're in this map. Blade, the final boss. Well, other than Ulysses. And you get the Marked Eyes helmet. Okay. And then, I believe that this is the last Ralphie poster. 20 of 20 for you guys. If you followed my guide up to this point. Okay, guys. This is it. It's a big moment. We're going into the temple to face Ulysses. Take the elevator. Now we got six warheads right by the entrance. And that is it, guys. 30 of 30. Alright. Even in this place, NCR's shadow falls. Or is it just you, courier, without the bear's corpse to weigh you down? You destroyed a nation, taking its first breath. A place that could have been my home. Now, I'll destroy yours. Let's end this courier. You and I, here with the old world flag as witness. Let's end this here, Ulysses, you little prick. I win. I'm better than you. That's right. Courier six triumphs. Okay, guys. We're gonna launch them. Hit them both. We're gonna hit all nations here. We're going for a completion guide, right? So we're launching them at the NCR and the Legion. I'm gonna shut up for the cutscene, and then I will see you again in a moment. The Divide erupted in fire, violent, red, as the last message of the two couriers arced into the sky. The missiles rained like spears down on the land, burning flags and communities alike, destroying all they struck. The history of the West was erased for the second time, thorough and complete and America slept once more at the end of the struggle only one courier remained in the heart of the divide the true courier courier six the courier tore the ancient flag of the Commonwealth from its cables and cast it over the corpse though whether done as a sign of respect or in anger for what had been endured to reach this moment, that is unknown. Interpretation is something best left to history, and only the surviving courier would ever know for certain. As for the courier, he turned his back on his home for the second time and made his way back, navigating the treachery of the divide. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure, as if recognizing the courier's right to passage, or out of fear. The courier walked until he stood again upon the edge of the divide, the last road he would walk before the second battle for Hoover Dam. There, beside his feet, was a final package from one courier to another. A footlocker bearing a gift and a message. But that message, it is something for couriers to carry and for them alone. The lights flickered across the divide. Reminders that the old world histories persist and find meaning in the present it said war war never changes men do 
through the roads they walk. And this road has reached its end. Okay, it's time. Now that both nukes have gone off, we're going to be quickly covering the uniques in each of the locations, the Long 15 and Dry Wells. Okay, so first of all, to get to Dry Wells, just come to Cottonwood Cove and you just got to click this little boat on the shore. And then once you get there, very, very radioactive, dangerous place, guys. Not as dangerous as the Courier's Mile, but just as radioactive. So grab some Radex. You're going to want to find this guy. Steal his outfit, because that's a sick unique. And then just at the top of this little hill here is the unique grenade launcher. Red Victory Grenade Rifle. And this grenade rifle and the grenade rifle in the Long 15 are the two best ones in the whole game, actually. So, definitely worth having. Alright, and then once you're here at the Mojave Outpost, go to the Long 15. Where you will find another raided area with another bunch of ghouls and enemies and you actually need power armor training to wear this you can find the colonel finish him take that stuff and in that case just above us is the other unique grenade launcher great bear grenade rifle Alright guys, that sums it up for this video. I really hoped you like it. I will be bringing lots of stuff out in the near future, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.